Okay, we're going to try and uh, figure out. We have um, uh, we have tables. This is a story problem. This is Khan Academy, and it's called trends and categorical data. So here we have a table. Um, some kid. The story is some kid collected a bunch of data, and then he dropped his data and he lost some of his numbers. So he has this data here, right? Everything that's here, you, you, he has. What he doesn't have is he doesn't have um, he doesn't have the missing values. Okay, so the values that are missing. Well, what we know is that this is a count, a total count of all the. I think it was planes that he counted. He counted planes. Okay, he recorded how many planes flew over his house. So this is a total count. So whatever number goes here and goes there, I have to add up to 148. So the question is, how do we how do we find that? Well, this is actually pretty easy. Okay, we would simply say that if we had 148 total here, okay, north south here, then what we would do is we'd know that 77.7 percent of them go in here, and 22.3 percent of them go there. So the question really is, what is 77.7 percent .7 of 148? Not of 100. This means 100 percent, right? Everything here is 100 percent. But what is 77.7 .7 percent of 148? So we'll use this calculator over here. It looks kind of handy. So we'll go 77.7 .7 okay actually we ooh I forgot if it's a percentage we need to put it in as a decimal point seven 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 times 148 see I had to convert it this is this is a percentage but there's two zeros in that there's two percent sign looks like a one a zero and a zero to me I see a hundred when I look at it which tells me I need to move my decimal point two places anyway my answer is oh boy I didn't want that okay I don't now let's try this again. 0 0.777 times 148 equals, and that's 114, and we'll call it 115. So there's 115 there. Now, how many would have been the Friday to Sunday deal? Well, that's pretty simple. We just take the 148 total and subtract the 115, and we have 33. 33 that are going north to south on Friday on the weekends basically Friday through Sunday 115 on Monday through Thursday okay next one east to west now oh here's an interesting thing we have a missing data point right here X so they want us to know we know that this adds up to a hundred percent together this adds up to a hundred percent I have a hundred percent and over here is 76.14 so what is this number going to be? It's going to be the difference. So I take 100 minus 76.14, and that's going to be 23.86, which is what we will call x. This has to be 23.86. So now the question, what is 23.86? So I hit the answer button, which brings 23.86 times now I only have 88 that were counted going east to west so 88 and it tells me holy Hannah I forgot to divide this by a hundred because it was a percent I should have used percentages so in any event that means 21 21 planes were going east to west over here and then here we have 88 minus 21 that'll be 67 over here well okay so how do we do that well we, we could just take 0.7614 times 88 and that would give me that number 0.7614 times 88 and why am I doing that now think about this and it gave me 67 just a little over for rounding we're okay because I'm trying to find out from this table that I read the east west table on Friday to Saturday I can see that on this row, the east-west row, that there was 76.14% of the total that showed up in this row. So the question is, of the total in this row, which is 88, what is 76.14%? So that's why I did 
what is 76.14% of 88 is the question, so 0.7614 times 88, and that's how it's done. Okay, this should add up to 100. This adds to 136. I think we've got everything done there. Did I forget the answer or something? No. In fact, Khan Academy was happy. I got a correct answer. Let's go to the next one. Eddie's in eighth grade on the verge of entering high school. He heard from his older brother who is in marching band in high school. Everybody plays a musical instrument. Skeptical, Eddie decides to investigate. Throughout the next month, yes, every high schooler he sees whether or not the student plays an instrument. So collecting a bunch of data by grade, right, whether or not they play an instrument. Okay, we can add up and get a total of 9th, 10th, 11th, and 12th graders. We can get a total of all the ones that do and all the ones that do not play instruments. All right, so the percentage of all students that don't play an instrument. So the percent of all students. So of all students, there's 86. So what percent is it that do not play an instrument? So what percent of 86 is 62? Let me show you how I do this kind of, sometimes I write it out like this. So what? percent of 86 is 62. That's how I would ask that question in English. Because right, I got to put that answer in here. What percent of 86 is 62? So now when I translate to math, x, we use x for what we say we don't know the answer to this so it's x percent times 86 oh boy now I'm gonna gonna have some trouble so I'm gonna slow things down 86 kind of learned my lesson about slowing things down now of we use times that's right here and is is means equals right it's because we're defining something equals 62 okay so how do we go about doing this okay well what we do is we we would just say if we want to solve for X we have to undo this equation so we'd start by dividing both sides of our equation by 86 then these guys would cancel here's our basic algebra and then we go ahead and do what is 62 divided by 86. So I'm not going to use the calculator this time because I don't want to lose what I've got written here. So you can do this at the same time. 62 divided by 86 is, and I got 72.093 percent. I'll say 72, and it says 0.72. So my next step here is I've got x percent equals 0 0.72093. So x percent, that really means x over 100. See, I always, I like this because I see that 100, zero, zero, and to me this is a 100, zero, zero, and it's per 100. So per 100 is what percent means, right? So to make that go away, I always multiply by 100. That's the opposite of dividing by 100, is multiplying by 100. And it makes this sign go away, all right? And also cancels out here. These two cancel out. So it would cancel out there. So we have x equals, but I have to multiply this side by 100. And now I get 7, 2, point zero nine three okay so that's how that's done let's uh, pop our answer in seven two point zero nine three percent we'll just call this uh, it's to the nearest hundredth of a percent so seven two point zero nine percent now the percentage of ninth graders that play an instrument so we're just looking at the ninth graders okay that play an instrument. So that would be seven of the ninth graders. So seven of 21. So we would go seven, 
divided by 21 and that answer is 33.33 percent 33.33 percent then the percentage of students who don't play an instrument that are underclassmen so out of the students who don't play an instrument how many of them are underclassmen we consider them the ninth and tenth graders well ninth and tenth graders there are 36 in here out of the 62 so it's 36 over 62 and that's 58.06 percent 58.06 percent okay and if you were to read this this one might be a little bit crazier but let's just you know maybe use our pen real quick to mark this up it says percentage of students who don't play an instrument so we could call that a so the ones that do not play an instrument that are underclassmen we can call that B so we have underclassmen and that would be B and this would be a and then our probability what we're asking for is what is the probability of B given A and we know what that is it's going to be the intersection of B and A over um, A the number of A alright and so that's equal to 36 over the number in A was 62. In this column, you got to remember, don't add this in because this is our total. Same thing here. You don't add this in. It's the total. It just adds it up for us. So the only data that we really have is in here. So just keep that in mind. All right, let's go ahead and check our answer. And if so, we'll be done with this video. Hoping, hoping I got it right. It's so nerve-wracking dun 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 that's how it's done guys okay go ahead and get five of those done thank you